Let's get right to it. If this looks fun, it's because it is. It looks good, it sounds good, the pacing is good, and when you're facing down several ships at once, moving between cannons to take them on, it feels great. I did this for over a dozen hours and was still having fun. Of course, that open beta wasn't a dozen hours, it was three days. And three days was long enough to realize that this is it. There's no further nuance to the fights, it's very arcadey. Other than a handful of different weapons, one fight feels just the same as the last. It's good, but much like the fighting in a Fallout game or the dialogue in a Final Fantasy game, it's not enough to carry the experience on its own. Elden Ring, this is not. So do we get a story? Well, not one that I came across in the beta. There's two other characters if you count your first mate, and that's a bit of a stretch. The other is your boss. Yeah, you have a boss for some reason. You'll know him by the sound of your spacebar, skipping his dialogue. The mission he gives you boil down to going to a place and shooting some stuff. You have a hammer, everything is a nail. Occasionally, you'll get some YAR treasure map moments, literally, but the twist in the opening act is that the guy who was willing to take bribes from pirates was corrupt and turned on you. And the map? The map is tiny. Well, okay, it's physically huge, but that's because there's huge amounts of just water. Most of the settlements can't be entered. You just pull up next to them and open a store interface. There are small islands and villages which amount to little more than a beach which serve as fast travel points. As for main towns, I only came across one additional town over the first. It looks different, but it's functionally identical. It's basically at the far edge of the map and if you made it there, it's reasonable to say you've seen the gist of what this game has to offer. But surely not everyone had gotten to the point where they'd sail to the far edge just to see what was there, right? Well. See this ship? You can only get it there. And everyone had one. From what I can gleam on the website, this isn't a truncated map for the beta either. Now, I've been trying to make my videos look more at the positive, and luckily, I do see some here. What we have here is potential. If you're gonna make a game about ships, you have to make it about the ships. I'm not going to say it has to hit DCS levels of realism, but how about bomber crew levels? Slow down the fights, make us actually learn about sailing. It might take a couple days to get people hooked, but toss down another three day beta. A fight shouldn't boil down to whether or not you have the Mark II or the Mark III cannons. It should be whether or not you know how to use them. Ditch health bars and moving markers for other ships. Make the weather a part of the game because these are sailboats first and foremost. As for the story, well, get one. <laughs> That, that's a start. But more importantly, get off the fence and choose between historical or wacky. Considering they decided against a patriarchal slave-driven economy in favor of a sports bar meets drunken hippie pirate fantasy, why not dive headfirst into that? You want an inspiration for pirate overlord? How about Johnny Gat? As for the PvP, well, judging from the beta, you're not clear on what you want to do with that. So here's what you do. You copy EVE Online. The areas around the islands are protected. You are able to attack other players, but if you do, 50 NPC ships will be on you like glue. If you can get the other player before the NPC ships get you, good on you. But you're about to regret it. It better be worth it. The open areas between the islands, though, that's no man's land. If someone comes for you out there, no one's coming to help you. And I hear it's going to be foggy tonight. So that's my suggestion, Ubisoft. Take it or don't. Come March 4th, it'll be 10 years since I bought anything Ubi. South Park, if you're wondering. And we can go another 10 if you'd like. I'll see you next time.